<laughs> my name is Marty Vielma. I'm the owner and founder of Keenan's in Action Academy. I started my business based on my, my love for dogs. And while attending school in Donna, I attended the law enforcement class one and two. They got my interest first in being a police officer, then of course working with police canines. And the ready dog, this is the first, the second week in, uh, in the training. I started my career in the city of Alamo as a police officer. I then moved to the city of FAR where I was also working as a police officer and then was given the opportunity to become a canine handler. As a canine handler is where I learned more about how it, great it is to have a dog as your partner. And from there, it got me more interested in learning how to train the dogs and then of course train the, the officers as well. So from there, I was uh, given the opportunity to become a certified official for the National Police Canine Association. We are currently right now preparing ourselves for a certification that's going to be happening in March. And this is going to give me now the opportunity of again returning back to the association to be able to now go to other countries like I did in the past and certify law enforcement, military teams that have canines in detection of explosives and narcotics. I'll be able to provide that training and certification for them. There you go. Here, what we do in the working side of the business is we work and train dogs in detection, both narcotic and explosive detection. We can also do scent specific depending on what the task of the dog is required from the owner. So here uh, we do uh, weekly and monthly trainings for law enforcement agencies that have a, a training contract with Canines and Action Academy where we go make sure that we evaluate the performance of the dogs, evaluate the performance of the handlers, help them with any type of issues that, that arise based on odor recognition or simply obedience behavior. So we bring all that, we evaluate, we work on that, and most important, we train the handler to learn how to problem solve any issues with the dogs. See, It's a great feeling knowing that based on our hard work and our knowledge that we have about training dogs, it allows us to sp spread that knowledge to the handlers that are doing their job in the school districts out there working these dogs to try to make sure that we can keep all the illegal substances out of the schools, right? We want to make sure that we have a very safe environment, campuses for our students, and this is one of the great things that school districts are looking into uh, investing in having this type of programs in their in their schools. So we're going to take them to the Congress, ready? Over to the dogs to the front. One of the things that we do focus on a lot too is training people's pet dogs. We work, we do work with dogs that have certain behavioral issues that require specific special skills to allow to have those dogs to rehabilitate and become better pet dogs. But the one most important thing that we do here is that we train and educate our pet owners on how to maintain their trainings for their dogs. Our goal here is to create a better relationship between dog owner and, and the dogs. What drives me to do this is one that I've always had passion of working in law enforcement one. That's why after I got out of law enforcement, my, I finished my law enforcement career, I decided to continue helping uh, uh, the law enforcement uh, departments. And the thing is that working with dogs for me is very, very uh, rewarding in the way that I enjoy helping a, a dog that might be having a disposition uh, behavior and knowing how to work to help that dog. So my, my goal again is knowing that I'm making an impact here in the, in the Rio Grande Valley and I'm giving back to the community as well.